Yes, hi everybody. I'm Francesco Zambotti. I'm working here at the Ericsson Publishing House and also at the Faculty of Education of the Free University of Bolzano here in Italy. I'm dealing with the new technology in education, especially in inclusive education. Uh -huh. And so you're here at the Ericsson Conference. Can you give us a, a, a very brief summary of what you talked about today? Yeah, I talk about the use of uh, interactive whiteboard and didactic uh, strategies for, to include students in schools and to innovate didactic at school. Uh -huh. And uh, the conference has looked at, at different sides of, uh, of teaching with technology. Some really important stuff like the, the psychological and legal aspects uh, as well as the, the benefits, uh, the pedagogical and motivational benefits of using technology with students. Um, what are your feelings generally about this? Yes, well, my feeling is that, um, of course, it's better if new technologies are introduced in, in school and used by teachers and students, uh, just because uh, the student, the schools need to become uh, complex uh, society. Uh, schools need to be as, as complex as the, so the society outside school. So uh, the schools need to, uh, to deal with all the problems that new, te new, te new technology gives to students, to teachers, to parents. So we need to find a way to use technologies in school and to use technology to innovate schools and didactics because uh, very often technologies are not used to innovate the ways of teaching and learning but they are uh, used in a traditional way to reproduce some old ways of teaching and learning. Okay, and this was the question that I really wanted to ask you. Um, teachers often say that using technology like interactive whiteboards, the internet, things like that, would be nice, they'd like it, but it, it takes too long for them to prepare. Um, your presentation looked at some really nice, simple, quick, uh, you know, time-effective ways uh, that teachers could simply and easily use technology in their lessons. Um, Obviously, you, you had a, an entire presentation, you can't tell us everything now, but could you give us just a few ideas of, of, of some of the things that you talked about? Yes, I, I, th I definitely think that teachers need to start using technology in schools, in class, uh, using very simple materials, um, and to have a, a very uh, clear intent of what they, what they really want to achieve during this lesson. So they really need to have a didactic goal very clear in mind and so they can, they can achieve this goal also using very simple materials such as just one photo, a very easy way of interacting with the material. I think that the most important thing is that the interactive whiteboard and also the other technologies in class are used directly by pupils and not by teachers so the, and every time the pupils need to go to do something to put the hands on the material this is I think the most important things to plan the didactic activities starting from very simple materials mm -hmm. um, of course there are also some very uh, exceptional teachers that uh, are creating fabulous materials very complex but uh, the starting point is always the learning plan. So um, the question at the beginning of the les lesson should be always uh, what would I achieve at the end of my hour and a half and which tools are the most manageable and how can I deal the, with the students, which is the role of the students during the lessons and how will I manage the class uh, and what can I do to include the students which are uh, less, uh, we have a lower performance uh, at school. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Francesco. Thank you, too. Thank you. Hi, bye. <laughs>
Kulele, lebido, kulele, dido.